Math is everywhere. Look around you. Every structure, everything, every day, we bump into math. That is why math is essential to human beings. Unconsciously, we deal with math in our daily lives. It is important to learn it on our early stages. That is why math is required by every school in the root of our education. Not as easy as it may sound, generally math is hard for the normal student. How much more for the blind? This lady is Roselle. She graduated summa cum laude from the Ateneo de Manila University. She took up BS Mathematics, major in Actuarial Science. Another thing is that she is blind. Math is um, a great way of improving your, your logic or your uh, reasoning techniques. What math would teach you is yung symmetry. It, it would teach you yung uh, consistency na whatever you touch on one side will, will have to have an effect on the other side of the equation. That's true with life. Usually, if you want to, to make a difference, you have to consider all, all aspects that have to be in balance. The basic truth is that math, in general, requires higher visual skills. It is a challenging discipline to both the sighted and the visually impaired. Different questions linger in our minds. What do they see? How do they do math? How do they visualize numbers? How do professors teach math to the visually impaired students? The, the only challenge is that I was afraid. I was afraid because I don't have any idea and I don't have an experience dealing with them. But eventually, okay naman pang kinalabasan. It's just a matter of uh, having the lesson in detail. If all the students are normal when it comes to visual, so no need for us to cite those uh, grouping symbols one by one. Whereas if uh, they are visually impaired, you have to say that open bracket to open parenthesis words such we need to mention. So that is why we have to make the explanation detailed. Mathematics in the tertiary level requires more higher visual skills. Teachers especially had to deal with these students with special needs. Meron din mga estudyante mga visual impaired uh, where they are not totally blind. So ang ginagawa naman namin, uh, instead of having the font 12 times Roman for the regular, sa kanila medyo lalakihan depende sa need ng estudyante. Asking questions in Filipino. So, I discovered that they can understand it better. So next time around, you use the technique. And the more you can relate with them, the more you can relate, and the more you can uh, motivate them. In the Philippines, there is an estimated half a million Filipinos who are visually impaired. In partnership with the Department of Education and the Commission on Higher Education, the Resources for the Blind Incorporated supports teachers from mainstream schools to help educate blind students in elementary, secondary, and tertiary level. As of school year 2010 to 2011, over 2,466 blind students have been able to enroll in school as a result of this training. The simple RBI programs, in cooperation with the Department of Education, have evolved to include Braille materials production, like math textbooks, which now uses computer technology for a more efficient production. Even more interesting is that most of the production team are blind. Do you think math is hard? Well, this man proves you're wrong. This is Ryan Operario. 
He graduated with a degree in education, major in mathematics. He is now a staff in RBI. What's more intriguing is that he is visually impaired. In teaching mathematical concepts to visually impaired students, it is a, a must to have uh, teaching materials that are tactile, materials that can really aid in, in learning the concepts. No? We have the adaptive devices like the abacus, talking, scientific and non-scientific calculators, the geometric sets, the graphing utilities, the tracer. The other type of material uh, is or are the improvised materials. For regular teachers or instructors uh, in colleges and universities, you can talk to the visually impaired students on how you can best help him or her because the visually impaired student knows how, how, how he can be helped. Probably you will know mental mathematics. Another thing, you will know how they solve problems in math that are really amazing. That would help you in teaching the sighted students themselves. Different teaching strategies that cater to the special needs of blind students worked. But it is surprising to know that the best strategy applied by the faculty in tertiary schools that worked together with RBI was to treat the blind as if they are sighted too. Malaking bagay po kasi yung pagkakaroon ng course, ano eh, syllabus. So, uh, based doon, alam ko na yung next topic namin and uh, tinatry ko na pong uh, isulat yun sa Bray lahat kung may handouts man. Para po pagpasok sa school, prepared na ako at saka alam ko na yung possible na magiging takbo ng, ano, ng klase. First thing to do po para siguro is tanungin po kung ano po yung pwedeng gawin and itreat nyo lang po ng fair yung blind student uh, katulad lang po dun sa mga regular students nyo kasi uh, kung hindi niya po pa talaga deserve na ipasa yung subject na yun, hindi okay lang po yun. Yung mismo pag-accept pa lang ng teacher sa akin, malaking bagay na po yun kasi although sabi niya na hindi pa siya naka-experience sa, pag sa pag-handle po ng visual impaired learners, yung willingness niya po na uh, makatulong sa amin whatever way po, malaking bagay na po talaga yun. yun. Yun lang yung lacking sa amin po. Hindi namin makita yung uh, visual stuff. Malaking tulong po talaga yung ginagawa niya yung talking board method. Um, habang nagdi-discuss po siya, for example, may sinusulat siya na um, whatever it is dun po sa board, sinasabi niya po yung sinusulat niya as she writes it down. You should have what? Patience and heart or love. That's my thing. You should understand. You should have the patience uh, to understand this kind of students. Then I think whatever method you want, if you have those, then everything encompasses. Kailangan, meron kang what we call manipulative uh, activities. Yes. And you have to, as a professor, you need to be um, creative about it. Pag uh, may, may solids na or, or 3D objects, mm -hmm. um, how, will, how will you describe that to a blind person? Ang tendency ng mga professors, because that's what they do with the sighted person, um, papakita nila yung object, halimbawa cup, mm -hmm. okay, or box, and then they would translate to two-dimensional form. Pag ginawa mong ganito yon, 2D representation of an object sa, pap, sa tactile form, mm -hmm. it wouldn't make sense to a blind person. Because a blind person, mas makaugiging confusing pa siya. Kasi a blind person does not have depth perspective. These people have proven that blindness can be hurdled. Their beautiful brains have excelled especially in the field of mathematics. Um, we need to feel that we belong. Um, all we are asking for is a chance to be accepted, a chance to learn, a chance to belong, a chance to grow, a chance to lead a normal life, and most especially a chance to be a channel of blessings to other people. Sana po kung meron man po kayong nafe-feel ng mga misgivings po sa pag-accept ng mga blind learners, um, isipin nyo na lang po na itong mga learners na ito ay willing pong matuto so I believe that more than possessing a brilliant mind, a teacher must first and foremost 
ultimately have a big heart. A heart for service, a heart that is willing to be of help, of any help to other people. Bago mo tanongin, paano mo tuturuan yan, blind yan, hindi nakikita, paano? Hindi naman niya ako naririnig, BPN or, or Bini, di ba? Uh, before you ask questions like that, tingnan mo muna yung performance, tingnan mo muna yung grades. Are they really um, deserving of your, your level of education? Can you really help this blind person, this disabled person, to, de to develop further? And don't be the ones to, um, to take away that, that chance of proving themselves. Kasi role talaga ng mga educators is to give the opportunity. And that's really what most, uh, in, in many cases, that's really what the disabled really need. Mm -hmm. Hindi naman yung kailangan na special treatment. They're not asking for that. Most of the time you'll find there, all, all they're asking is the opportunity to show you that they can achieve. The challenge is already there because at the end, to prove that you're a teacher, you should have made a difference. It is a fact that students learn from you, you also learn from them. Blind or not, they are still a part of the society. Both have the ability to help one another. They learn from one another. We should open our minds to greater heights and opportunities to experience their purpose in life and make them feel loved and accepted. Let us embrace them with both hands and lend them a little effort that will eventually lead to successful paths. They hunger to learn for the best. Let us feed them the best. <laughs>